What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel. It's Ian K. where today I'm over at Del Taco. This time to check out their all new queso crunch tatas. That's right and I'm doubling up on them too. So stay tuned because I've got the nacho tata crunch tata as well as the chicken queso and guac crunch tata both up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Wow, these suckers are definitely hefty in my hand right now, guys. Feast your eyes on them. Here we go with the new queso crunch tatas here at Del Taco. And there's no easy way for me to do this, so I'm just gonna go back and forth for you. As you can see, we've got a lot of layered goodness on the top of these corn shells, guys. They are looking really, really nice. Definitely packed. Let's break these both down real quick. Yeah, definitely some nice presentation in these boxes, guys. Starting off on the left here with the nacho tata crunch tata, what we've got here is a wavy corn shell layered with seasoned beef, slow cooked beans, queso blanco, tortilla strips, grated cheddar cheese, diced tomatoes, sour cream, and sliced jalapenos. Guys, definitely a lovely situation. And again, it is absolutely stacked. It's looking really, really nice. Next up, we've got the chicken queso and guac crunch tata featuring the save wavy corn shell layered this time with grilled marinated chicken, slow cooked beans, ranch sauce, shredded lettuce, grated cheddar cheese, diced tomatoes, and fresh house-made guacamole, as you can see in the top there, guys, and it's looking very fresh indeed. Totally digging the presentation on this one as well, and again, the heftiness is on point. These two are looking really, really fantastic right now. So let's not waste any more time on these, guys. These are the all-new queso crunch tatas here at Del Taco. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir. These are absolutely layered with the goodness, guys. Just look at the size of these here. Very, very cool and definitely worth the money, I think, so far, just in the heft department. Okay, let me start off with the nacho variant, the nacho tata. Gotta love the name on this one here. Again, looking very nice. I'm gonna do this as best as I can. Maybe take two or three bites out of each one. Let's start off with this one. Here we go, guys. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right off the break, I got a mouthful of slow cooked beans as well as the beef and some of that queso blanco, guys, and a little bit of the sour cream action. But this is very gluttonous, very tasty. I have to say, it's like having a plate of nachos already with an open faced corn shell. Very, very cool. Let's keep going in for this one, guys. It's pretty nice. Mmm. But just a tad messy to eat with the hands. That's the only thing. Well, I'm definitely getting a nice bit of heat coming from the sliced jalapenos, guys. Everything is dovetailing beautifully with all of those layered ingredients. And of course, with the crunchiness of that shell on the bottom, this is definitely boating very well already, guys. Easily one of the favorites in the Crunch Tata lineup with all the classic goodness that you can get over here at Del Taco. This is really good. Very, very tasty so far. But yeah, just a tad messy eating it with my hands without a fork right now. A little dangerous in the car, but let's go for one more bite on this one before we jump over to the next. But so far, guys, this is very flavorful. Pretty nice. Mm. That seasoned beef is awesome with the cheese. Very, very tasty. Okay, let's move on to the next. Very, very nice. And because that guac is kind of sitting on the top there like that, let me kind of spread this around just a bit, just so we have a little bit more in some of the bites that I'm gonna try and taste here because I wanna try and get a little of everything. So let's kind of keep that together somewhat. This is looking pretty nice. Okay, and this one's gonna be the chicken queso and guac variant. And again, as you can see, spread out pretty nice. So let's give this one a shot. Here we go. Crunchy. Mmm, that ranch sauce stands out right away. Didn't get too much chicken at all in that first bite. Let's go in for another. Mmm, okay, there we go. Mmm, wow. This one kind of feels like it's got a little less in terms of the ingredients on this one, but they're very flavorful. And as you can see, guys, a very lovely amount of the good stuff in there. All the cheesy goodness, and of course, with that fresh made guac really standing out. This is not something from a can or something from a squirt bottle. This is the real deal made in-house, and I gotta say, it is very lovely. Let's go in for another couple on this one. Pretty good. Mmm, that's good. You know, I wish I had a little bit more chicken on this one. It's got a little bit more beans than I would probably like on something like this, and that's kind of overpowering everything. But the freshly made guac and the normal cheese goodness that you have on here is really standing out. I guess this is more of a vegetarian style, minus the chicken, of course, if you get that. But still, very nice overall, very crunchy, and definitely pretty nice, guys. The quality is good. And did I mention that these are hefty? It's got some solid weight to it here. Let's go for one more bite. Hang on. Mmm. Still tasty. You know, as I'm diving further into these right now, I was thinking about a time about maybe a year or so ago when I re-reviewed the original Crunch Tatas when they brought them back. And I have to say, it was a very lovely situation. Take a look at that review jumping up on your screen right now to catch up on it. 
But guys, they were promoting that one back then as kind of filling the void for the Mexican pizza that was no longer gonna be on the menu at Taco Bell. So naturally, with that being back now, it's great to see another variation of these with some different choice options with the combo of the flavors on here. They can easily do so much with these, and I hope they continue to do that. But guys, it's great to have choice, and these are two pretty solid ones. So let me go for one more bite of this particular one. We'll wrap the review up with the ratings coming up next. But guys, again, very fun checking out these alternative options when it comes to Mexican food, especially from Del Taco. This is super fun, super packed, and I'm having a blast checking these out. One more bite and we'll close it out. Hang on. You know, I'm pretty impressed that these are still holding their composure for the most part, considering all the toppings on these guys. That shell is really doing a nice number right here. So whether you go for the nacho tata variant or the chicken queso and guac, you have a beautiful selection of options to go in on. And they're pretty competitively priced considering how much food you're getting, guys. Very nice indeed and definitely something to check out over here at Del Taco. Absolutely. So starting off with the Nacho Tata Crunch Tata here at Del Taco, I'm gonna have to give that one a rock solid nine out of 10. Guys, that one definitely felt a little bit more substantial to me. Had a little bit more heft and a lot more toppings to showcase as well, and there's a lot going on. The extra crispy goodness that you're getting from the tortilla strips on that on top of the shell, a very nice amount of crunch, obviously. But again, the composure of the shell holding its own was pretty awesome. Very flavorful on that one, but a little bit of heat coming from those jalapenos. Definitely banging. And as for the chicken, queso, and guac variant, that one's gonna get a pretty decent seven and a half out of 10. And I'm not gonna go much higher than that, guys, because I wish I had just a little bit more chicken on it, maybe just a little bit more toppings overall, because it felt definitely lighter. But at the same time, the quality is pretty tasty, and the quality of that guac on top of it is the major selling point, if you ask me. Like I said, that's made fresh in-house. You can really taste the quality, and it goes amazing with everything on there. Even if this particular one felt like it had a lot of beans on it, it still was very flavorful, very tasty, and again, something to check out over here. All right, so do me a quick favor. Drop some comments down below. What did you think of these new queso crunch tatas that I reviewed right now? I mean, out of the two that you've seen that are available currently for a limited time only, which was your personal favorite in this review and why? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yes, sir, it's definitely the Nacho Tata Crunch Tata for me out of these two guys. I mean, look at this thing. It is super stacked. It looks pretty awesome. And did I mention it was nice and crunchy? All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.